Ladies and gentlemen, I did several stories on the ports in America being backed up, and they're still backed up to this very day. Well, guess what? I got more news about backups. Now the freight rail supply chains are backed up. You see these trains here? They're backed up. Mm -mm -mm. The congestion is raising costs and adding complications from importers managing the flow of goods in a fragile U.S. economy. Mm -mm -mm. So y'all get used to seeing these rails backed up as well. It's no longer just the ports. Port bottlenecks that have tied up the U.S. supply chains are spreading from docks to the freight rail network, raising costs and adding new shipping complications from importers trying to manage the flow of goods. Some retailers are waiting weeks to move cargo by train out of Southern California ports of Los Angeles and Long Beach while others are giving up on railroads and shifting shipments of furniture, apparel, and other consumer goods to trucks for long inland journeys on highways. The backups stretch to major freight hubs, including the key transit point at Chicago Freight Executive Say, where containers have been piling up at rails they said this has been going on for a long time, piling up in rail yards. The congestion has led BNSF Railway Company, a unit of Berkshire Hathaway, Inc., and one of the main rail operators connected the U.S. West Coast to Inland Points to limited number of boxes the railroad will carry out of Southern California port complex. Boy, everything, everything is falling apart in America, y'all. Everything is falling apart in America for real. Mm, mm, mm. The congestion in intermodal operations, which combine truck and rail transportation for longer freight hauls, is adding to delays in getting goods to distribution centers and stores. It also adds headaches to retailers coping with inventory that is mismatched to shifting consumer buying patterns and raising shipping expenses at a time when transportation costs are contributing to the decades high of U.S. inflation. U.S. importers have struggled for more than a year with weeks long waits for vessels to unload at the ports in California. Yeah, they sure have been waiting. The main U.S. gateways for goods from Asia, a vessel queue for berths, that reach more than 100 ships in January fell below to 20 this month, according to Marine Exchange of Southern California, its lowest level since July 2021. About 29,000 boxes were being held in containers in yards at the Port of Los Angeles this month awaiting pickup by rail more than triple the usual number, according to the port's executive director. Mm -mm -mm. The Pacific Merchant Shipping Association says rail containers waited at the Los Angeles and Long Beach port an average of 11.3 days in May, 18% longer than April, and triple the average wait time at the start of the year. The two railroads that serve the port of Union Pacific Corp and BNSF says the delays in picking up boxes are being caused by the congestion at 
freight switching yards thousands of miles inland in logistic hubs like Chicago. Transportation and logistic companies say containers are stacking up there because manufacturers and retailers are too slow to pick up and unload cargo. This is according to a Union Pacific representative. Mm -mm -mm. Cargo owners need to handle their shipment in a timely manner so inland terminals remain fluid and can continue to move containers from the ports. The rail congestion <laughs> and backups that overwhelmed freight hubs last summer when railroads coping with growing stacks of containers in Chicago and other sites stop accepting shipments from ports for days or weeks so they could clear the backlog. Woo, y'all, this is bad. Oh, my. I, I'm just looking at a picture of the backup in Chicago. It is huge. <laughs> oh, man. Woo. This place is finished for real. How are y'all going to continue to run this country with all of this stuff? It, you just got stuff stacked up at the ports around America. You got the railways all backed up and containers stacked up there. Well, y'all y'all are never going to get through this stuff for real. You are never going to get through this stuff. And again, this is due to poor management. The country is badly mismanaged. And, and no matter how much you say the IQs are high, it is evident that it isn't when you see stuff like this. So ladies and gentlemen, always remember uh, this stuff happened on their watch. And they are failing at doing their jobs every single day that this stuff is piled up and it's not being moved. But y'all, please tell me what you think about America's new headache. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.